Welcome to our Sunday special. Ahead of the 31st of January deadline set by the Central Bank of Nigeria for the old Naira note to be out of circulation, some Nigerians are calling for an extension, with many saying they are yet to see the new note. In this report, Kelly Agiga visited some ATM spots here in Lagos and tells us his discoveries. <music> It's a few days to January 31, 2023, the deadline set by Nigeria's Apex Bank to face out the old Naira note, which have been in use since 1999 and the early 2000s. This is a mission to find out the level of the scarcity and availability of the new Naira nodes. We begin our journey from the K2 Ikosi area to Alausa and then Allen Avenue. We've been using the ATM since first of this month. We have not seen the new notes up till now. And they said by ending of the month, everything will come out. We have not seen it at all. I just redraw now, but there is no new note in it. Yeah. There is no new note in it. There's no yet in the ATM. One. And secondly, in the bank. When they want to, you want to collect money, they will sell, maybe you won't collect a 10,000 error. They will give you new note of 5,000, give you the old one, 5,000. That's what they use. And it's only 1,000 we have seen that it frequents. The other one is not even showing at all. Just yesterday, I, I got a, uh, a text that um, I have to make sure I deposit all the old Naira notes I have with me. And I have the deadline of 31st of this month. So that's the only info I have for now. But the ATM dispensed the old Naira note. Residents in these areas decry the move by the Apex Bank with less than two weeks to the deadline. Why should the CBN be asking Nigeria to return the old note and the banks are still loading the old notes in the ATM? That is worrisome. You are asking us to bring our own notes, and when we get to the bank to withdraw the money in the ATM, the banks are giving us own notes. Not end this month. We will continue using that money. Maybe if they can extend it, like so, May. Uh -huh. That time they will be taking all the old one away. Then they will start to circulate the new one. Then everybody will get it. If they actually want the new Naira notes to just circulate the whole country, they have to extend the time, eh? because I really don't think they can, people can meet up without deadline. So I think they should just extend it. I feel there should be an extension. I think there should be an extension. For those people that are in the rural areas that cannot access banks easily and all that, I think there should be an extension. And as the clock ticks for the facing out of some old Naira notes, there are unpleasant stories and experiences from some. I went to Paga two days ago. I wanted to withdraw 2,000 Naira. So immediately that guy gave me that new Naira note. I was like, wow, this is good. But the next man beside me is like a customer to that man. So that guy withdrew 5,000 Naira. Then he gave him 500 Naira new notes. But that guy was like, I don't like this. I, I don't want this, this new notes that um, maybe it's, it's fake. He was challenging that man that he's fake, he's fake, he's fake, he's fake. But that Paga man, that he's not fake now, he's new Naira note, but I should not lie to you, that day, and they were really, they were, they were really arguing about that new Naira note, because that man was telling him that he's fake, he's fake, he's fake, but, but we don't have choice. And my dad uh, called me and said, do you know that your mom used to have money in this house? I said, no, mom always said that he doesn't have money. And whenever he sees anybody, he want people to give him, give her money. That he told mom that um, the federal government by December 31st, if you have old Naira notes, you can't make use of it again. My mom went and brought out a huge sum of money to give it to my dad. So my dad was shocked when he saw bundles of cash. He said, you mean you have this money? Recall that the Senate had asked the central bank to extend the withdrawal date from January 31 to June 30. 2023. And so perhaps you have any doubt about the reality over the scarcity or availability of the new Naira note. I am right here at an automated teller machine 
here on Isaac John Road in Ikeja GRA, Lagos, Nigeria. And I will make a simple withdrawal of just 10 or 20,000 Naira and try to establish what currency exactly we're going to see in there. Come with me, let's make that uh, transaction. All right, so we are almost there. We are almost there. We are almost there. Wait for it. Wait for it. So there you go. I've only just made a withdrawal of 10,000 naira, as I told you just a moment ago. And it's the same old story for many Nigerians. It's still the old Naira note. And one wonders, with the deadline of January 31st, just a few days away by the Central Bank of Nigeria, will that deadline be extended or does it stay? And if it stays, how will Nigeria cope with this situation of the old Naira notes in circulation in most parts of the country? Kelly, a giga. TVC News, Lagos. Another of our Sunday specials. Did you know that most visually impaired persons have a more nuanced sense of hearing, including musical abilities? TVC News' Inyolu Akupola visited a school of the blind to have a feel of the talents of the persons with disabilities and how they have been able to educate themselves. Nigeria is a country with over 200 million people and nearly 7 million of those are visually impaired. Now I visited a school of the blind to see their living conditions and was met with a rare sight. Both young and old people displaying their talents regardless of their disability. All smiles with no sight, these visually impaired persons show off their talent. Many here, their big dreams and aspirations are the motivations to participate in this competition. While many of them have been here for over 10 years, two people caught my eye, Ruth and Michael. Ruth is a 23-year-old secondary school student, while Michael is a 35-year-old graduate who both aspire to be musicians. Singing started from when I was a child. That was when I was a baby, like six years. When I came into Bethesda for the blind, and they taught me so many things about music too. I want to be a great musician like Michael Jackson, the late Michael Jackson, and um, King of R&B, R. Kelly. Their journey as visually impaired in Nigeria has been challenging. I hate it whenever they say sorry to me. Like, whenever they see me and say, Ruth, sorry, sorry, sorry. Or they'll tell me, oh, sorry, she's blind. Those things make me feel, um, I used to feel pity to myself. I don't... Or me, they feel like I can't go to the top. But with, um, with the spirit that is in me, and with the power of God and the knowledge that I have, I know I can move further. The students were all jubilating and Faith, the winner of Miss Blind Nigeria, shows up some fashion moves. Oh, oh. Got blind at the age of 15. It's happened as a result of an illness, malaria. They have, shown, they have just displayed to the world that cats walking is not just limited to the sighted ones alone. The blind ones can do it, not just do it alone, but we can do it better. One of the major challenges the visually impaired have is lack of social inclusion and discrimination. The majority of them, they've been to universities, you know, studied fantastic courses, then they graduate and still no job. Nigerians need to wake up. We need to know, we need to remember that these people are part of us. They need us. The parents of those people that are blind, because some of them, you see them, even to bring their mat is very difficult. They lock them in, and when they think that somebody is blind, they have nothing to contribute in society. 
the best thing you can do to that person is to put that person in education. As I leave, Faith teaches me some fashion moves. And then I enjoy the dance moves of the security guard who is also visually impaired. In New Lua, Okola, TVC News, Lagos.